So not owning a lot of things has obviously made my life easier being an extreme minimalist, but I would say many items I still during my transition. I like the idea that I can not only migrate anywhere I want, um, pretty much almost in the world easily, but I also like that I can live comfortably being uncomfortable. And I use that term because some things that I do every day or in or things that I practice in my lifestyle may not be comfortable for a lot of people. That's why I call myself an extreme minimalist because not everyone would like sleeping on the floor on their yoga mat, but I do, right? So there are certain things that I do in order to sustain a certain lifestyle so that no matter where I am, I can be comfortable. and. I like the idea of being able to be dropped in the middle of, say, the jungle and I can still live the same lifestyle that I'm living today, or at least mostly, right? A kid wouldn't have school in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the jungle, so we wouldn't have exactly everything um, the same, but at least the lifestyle we can keep mostly the same, and at least I could say that I would be mostly comfortable um, in the same ways, right? So just that concept of being able to be free and be comfortable everywhere is really what motivates me to be more on the extreme side of minimalism. Oh, I don't own a lot of linen. Um, for example, bed sheets. I don't own any bed sheets. Uh, my son and I both sleep in our hammocks or I sleep on my yoga mat on the floor and all that requires is for each of us to have a thick comforter. So just because I'm an extreme minimalist doesn't mean that I don't like to live in a place that looks put together. So I do like my curtains, like here I have my yellow curtains and I do have, as you can see behind me, dots that are easily removable. They're just like stick on um, wallpaper decal dots individually. You just stick them on. Super easy. And then I also have things like my mirror. So I do like my curtains. I do like some things to look put together, but that is a rule of thumb of mine is if I own it, it fits into two suitcases. Otherwise, I don't own it aside from the mirror and the kitchen table. And as far as heavy tools go. So we do own two hammocks that that we sleep in. It actually, they roll up and go into vacuum sealed bags in our suitcases. We don't use any heavy tools for that. I will just borrow from like a neighbor. Other things that I don't own in the kitchen, um, machines other than my kettle for quickly warming water. I don't have blenders, I don't have waffle makers. I just buy like little uh, protein shakes from the grocery store, they're like pre-mix. And I don't own coffee maker, so I actually use, let's see if it's here. So I actually use just, it's dirty, but it's like a little French press like this. You can use, you can see how big it is. It perfectly fills up and empties into this mug. And just my one mug, one French press, good to go. One like pot saucepan, slightly smaller, medium sized, that I use for all my cooking. I also just have a one oven dish that can also be um, a container, so it comes with a cover. And it's glass, so it's like a small, medium sized. And I don't use um, like foil, I don't use anything other than those two things for cooking. So I don't have the cookie dishes, anything like that. Everything, you know, if I want to make cookies, if I want to bake, I'll use that dish. If I want to do lasagnas, you get the gist. So cooking, two things. Yeah. I don't own a strainer, so I'll actually use the top of like I'll use the lid of the saucepan to strain everything. I'm pretty good at it now. In the beginning, I wasn't. To other people, it may seem like it's more work. 
to own less cooking items, but actually it's the opposite. I find that it's not only easier to do the dishes, but also everything isn't in my way. So I grew up in a household where my family had like 20, and I'm not even exaggerating, probably 30 like pans, pots, and that's obviously the opposite end of, of extreme, you know, having way more, almost like hoarder, more than what you need. And every, I had to like push, I grew up just having to push everything out of my way to get into the cupboard to, you know, to get what I needed. And I think that's just so extreme. I don't like the idea of having to like move one thing over to get to another thing. In my mind, if you have to do that, then you own too much stuff. I think it's just easier this way to, to just live and to exist and to be. I think that you shouldn't work so hard to just exist. Obviously, you know, nothing's perfect in life, but you know, getting into your cupboard, I mean, it shouldn't be difficult, right? I don't know, I laugh, but that's just my take on it. Um, so I, so going back into the furniture thing, I don't actually own more than two hammocks. Where did I put four? Two hammocks, a kitchen table, which is small, very small, two kitchen table chairs, because there's two of us that live here, and um, obviously a mirror, a couple of lamps, like I have one in the living room, one in my kid's room, and my kid has like a toy, um, it's not a chest, it's a like a bin on wheels from Ikea, and that's it. I don't like owning furniture because not only is it very cluttered, it takes up a lot of space. Again, going back to it's harder to move when you have furniture. I don't, when I see people struggling with a lot of furniture moving, it just, again, it just doesn't make sense to me. But what kind of a lifestyle do I want to have, right? Like I want, I don't want to be sitting at home on the couch all day. I don't want to be, yeah, I mean, I, you can say, oh, well, instead I sit in a hammock, but that's not all day, right? Instead, I'm right now, like I'm sitting in my kitchen table chair talking to you. I you know, I'll sit throughout my house. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm also a healthy person. I understand some people aren't healthy. Some people, you know, don't have, you know, they're just not as healthy. So I can see how like they prefer chairs and things that are, you know, off the ground. So, you know, we don't own beds and I used to own rugs and just for the look of the room. And I know if I will in the future, I think that right now we just have a carpet, and I'm not huge on carpet, to be honest with you, but, you know, owning a hardwood floor, or living in a place with a hardwood floor, or tiles um, later, we may own rugs, I don't know, but right now we don't need them. And you know, to be fair, I probably don't even need my, um, my floor length mirror. I just like the idea of seeing, of being able to see myself fully, but I could also use the bathroom. I don't necessarily need my mirror. Um, so I guess that's not technically minimalistic, but that's all that we have as far as furniture goes. I think beds are a hassle. I really do. I don't see the point in them. I get it that you want to be comfortable and that, you know, people like being off the ground, which is why sometimes I do like sleeping in my hammock, but beds are just so large and they're so they're just in the way <laughs> is how I see it like I just imagine people try I just imagine someone like trying to walk around their bed and then stub themselves getting around the bed like it's like it's in the way I think if something's in the way you just move it or get it out of the way right probably don't need a washer and dryer for our clothes I live in an apartment so I didn't buy this um, if I have my own home would I buy one Probably not. And I say that because not only am I thinking, you know, what's more of an eco-friendly lifestyle, but I'm also thinking, is it something that we need, right? Emerald is just now coming out of, hopefully soon, his, you know, his bedwetting phase. And I, um, and he's, you know, fully potty trained. It's just bedwetting at this point a little bit. And I... I don't have many clothes to wash. He doesn't have many clothes to wash. 
you know, we have our comforter. So it just doesn't make sense for us to, for me to go out and buy a washer and dryer if we don't have the items that need to be, you know, washed and dried. And then even for laundry, I do laundry every two days for the both of us. But I mean, that will, that takes mostly like a full day to dry. And I don't think anyone needs them unless you have like, I can see like a family of six, you know, or eight then I can see the convenience in that, but for myself and our lifestyle, we don't. It's really just about preference for lifestyle. I don't want us to be sitting around all day watching TV. As I say this, my son is watching his tablet. Um, he watched it a couple hours this morning and he's watching it right now for probably another couple hours. So what's, you know, all day. <laughs> but normally we don't do this so normally like this weekend was just a little different and i like the idea of having a tablet that we can tap into for moments like this but having a tv means that we would also possibly set up an area to make it more comfortable to sit around said, said tv and or if we see the tv then we're more likely to sit around it and watch it instead of being outside or even inside and enjoying the moment, the present time that we're in. Every night, I don't want us to have that lifestyle where, you know, it's a very comfortable thing to sit around and um, not, again, be in, the, be in the present time. It's more um, an act of mindfulness than of minimalism, I would say although they kind of go hand in hand. So I also don't own books, um, which is really funny because I am, I do consider myself a nerd. <laughs> um, I'm a bookworm, moderately. So I actually am huge on libraries. My kid and I both um, go to our local library and I get a whole stack and then return them. And then they also have online library as well, so I can just download these books to my Kindle and then they take them out when they're due. But I'm huge on like saving money. I'm also huge on, again, not owning many things. So I do like the feel of regular books, I you know, versus reading online. But if I can save myself some time, some money, space in my home, then I will just download them online as well.